Um, I knew that smelled funny. Oh no, not cumin. No! These are two different colors. These are two very different colors. I can't believe I just yeeted some cumin into this. Let's put a little extra, just in case, to offset the cumin. Sous chef Mew Mew, what are we eating today? <laughs> Look, I haven't taken this book back yet, and mine hasn't come in yet. But we've decided that we are going to make Jess's Keto Coffee Cake from this Beyond Simply Keto book that I found at the library, and it's been so good so far. I love coffee cake. So does Miss Mimi. I'm just kidding, she doesn't eat coffee cake. The best coffee cake I've ever found was at Starbucks. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so good. It's so good, but my husband cannot wait. So Costco just came in and this is what we eat for snacks. I'm going to give him a little snack. I've never tried these two before, so that'll be interesting. Life is short, go for seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm over 40. I don't work like that anymore. I don't work like that anymore. Oh, these have nuts in them. Hold on. That's really good. We gotta watch out on that. One serving's five grams on one. It's about a carb, a cracker. Two grams with an extra sugar for two tablespoons. I gave him about four tablespoons. Okay, so this is your dinner. Does almond flour ever go bad? Because this has been in here for a long time. Oh, and I forgot. Welcome to another edition of Kicking with Strider. Now I got all this stuff in my mouth. All right. Where are my things? We have all the players here. Everything's ready to go. That's gonna be 325. And this is supposed to be nine inch. This is an eight inch. That's all I got. That's not very tall either. We'll see what happens. First, we get our bowl. Second, I find the tripod. Two and a half cups of almond flour. Two and a half. Third cup of granular sweetener. We like Swerve. Even when we weren't on keto, I was using Swerve as a replacement because sugar is, whoa, wicked, man. That stuff changes like, Attitudes, legit. Don't get me wrong, we love it, but we get angry. <laughs> it's the truth. Tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt. And then we whisk, squeeze, squeeze, senora. How's that go? That does not go like that. That feels pretty whisked. Let's move over here. So listen, this one's been sitting out. This one needs to be finely diced, six tablespoons. It needs to still be cold. What's the definition of fine when people say finely diced? Now we move back over here. We are going to work this with our hands. What? We gotta take this bandage off. This feels weird. I've never done this before. But have you ever like diced a butter stick and then tried to work? Did I put yeah. two and three? You've done that before? Yeah, it turns flaky and weird. When did when did you when did you do that? A long time ago. Here you go. He doesn't cook. Interesting. This is the best this is gonna be. I got that song in my head. Jump in the line. In a separate bowl. Two eggs. One, two. Man, I'm getting good at that. Let me go wash my hands. <laughs> Third cup of whole milk ricotta. Oh, I'm not good at these. I'm not good at these. Is anybody good at these? Oh, smell check. Checks out. There's this Arabic dessert that uses ricotta. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so good. I forget the name of it. Use an orange dye with it with shredded phyllo, phyllo. So good. Fourth cup of half and half. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I have cleaned up as I go. Clean up as you go. Makes life easier in the end when you're ready to eat and not clean. And we wheeze, squeeze, squeeze, senora. Whisk it all the time. Wheeze, squeeze, squeeze, senora. On the counter line. What? Oh, that's looking good. We're gonna add that to that, but I forgot to do that, which is add a spray. I'm use avocado oil because it's good for the cooking. I just sprayed the whole stove. <laughs> Why does it spray so much? We're gonna add this to this and mix it until it smears. When they say mix, we talking hand mixer, fork, hands, they mean whisk. It's feeling like the right consistency. I'm really hopeful for this. Let's move over here now. We're gonna put it in here and spread it evenly onto my pan, my small pan. <laughs> well, it spreads nicely. We're even. Now let's come back here and work on the cinnamon swirl. And look, this butter hasn't been out long enough, so we're gonna help it in the microwave. And while that microwaves, let's be clear on what cooking with Strider is all about. I'm not teaching you anything new. We're learning together. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. We're learning what things mean, right? Sometimes you have to do that. Not too much though, because then it starts cooking and turning brown. That happened to me once. Just enough to mush it. Yeah, what was that? 
I can't do math right now. And sometimes we don't have everything, so we use what we got. That's not unsalted. That's definitely salted and sweet. All right, now we need a third cup of brown sugar. Again, I have been using Swerve Replacement, even when we're not on keto. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still gained weight when we weren't on keto because I just... Okay, I was eating real sugar. This stuff is really sweet. I'm not a sweet, sweet tooth person, so if you are too, like, not too heavy on the sweet, lighten it up on my guy. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. Yum. Clean up as you go. Now that I'm done with all this, I'm just gonna pop these over. Just gotta clean up as you go. Um, I knew that smelled funny. Oh no, not cumin. No! Straight yeeted that in there too. <laughs> I knew it looked different. I looked at it, I grabbed it like this, and I'm like, it's a little bit lighter than it usually is. These are two different colors. These are two very different colors. I can't believe I just yeeted some cumin into this. Look, I got most of it out. I should have known something when I didn't smell the cinnamon. Let's put a little extra, just in case, to offset the cumin. <laughs> That's gonna be good. Okay, let's move back over here. This is weird. It says work it into the top, right? It should be a lighter color, but work it or make it design. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. You don't want too much of it, although Eddie really likes the sugar part, whereas I don't, so I might squish the heavily sugared parts over here. Now it's starting to look at it. Bring some from the bottom to the top. <laughs> Bake until it's golden brown, it says. From the top, 28 to 30 minutes. Ours one's a little hot. Let's do 28 minutes. Let's clean the rest of this stuff up. Oh, here we go, clear off. Let's see about this coffee cake. Oh yeah. We gotta let it sit for 10 minutes though, but it's looking legit and hot. Yes! It's ready, I'm gonna flip it. I don't think you're supposed to flip it, but I just remember flipping things as a child. Oh, nope, that's not good. That's not good. It's not ready. I feel like it needs to go back in the oven. Ask me how I know. How do you know this? It pooped out! I don't think I was supposed to do that. Man, what do I do with this? Did some of it make it? I think it should have been in longer. Hey, some of it made it. That's good for me, man. That should have been longer. Whatever. Ah! Maybe I wasn't supposed to flip it. This feels right. Look at. Oh, I know what to do. Look, it's like we're making a cake. That's gonna go in the middle. This is gonna be legit. It wasn't upside down. Cake, Strider, why'd you do that? Like nothing. Look at that gorgeousness, like nothing. Okay, okay, look, I had four more minutes to go to let it rest. <laughs> it's my fault. This is how we do in this house. We don't care about mess ups like that. Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, my love. How are you bringing us over laughing? <laughs> Happened. Just take a fork and eat. Wow! But let's get hey, off the carpet. Look. Come over to the kitchen. Come try it over here. Let's just let's do it safe. It's family style. It's a doll for me. Uh huh. Go oh on. Get a little bit of that. Yeah, because that's that's the coffee cake part. Okay, but for real, real talk, real question. Am I going to be sick after? That? No. No. <laughs> Give me my turn. Let me see. Did you get enough of both sides? If I let it rest, it should harden. Okay, hold on. There's some Indian spice in here. <laughs> That's not good at all. Guys, is, is that cumin? Is it cumin in there? Did you hear what happened? No! Babe! Babe, it's like someone put chili in my face! <laughs> Did you hear what happened? No, but Ben, are you not impressed by my palate? I taste, I taste the cumin. Just... <laughs> so listen. Dude, did you just think you cumin with cinnamon, Ben? Okay, look, I need to show you something first before you go judging people, okay? <laughs> I've been judging this for six years. <laughs> Okay, babe, wait, wait, wait. Wow. I had to show you something. Dude, they look identical. I know. That's why we got to organize this. Yeah, so I picked up... Hey, it tastes like straight chili. Babe, it tastes like chili. I picked up this. Didn't you think that was... I still looks like cumin to me. Yeah, but wouldn't you consider that to be... Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. She loves Give it. Me a go Give me a it. sous chef. <laughs> this was my <laughs> fault. I get it. You walked away. She's like, guys, there's cumin in this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest fail. Like, of all the things to drop in there, cumin no. is the worst the one worst to drop one. in. Baby, you know what's really terrible? Oh, she is eating it. No. Aside from the cumin, it's it's like the texture is good, the smell is good. I know. It, it's all good, except it's like someone hit you in the back of the head with a thing of cumin <laughs> at the end of it. Otherwise, it would be banging. It would have been banging. Wow. Okay, we're going to try it again another day. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs> I can't believe you noticed it immediately. Baby, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so nasty.